Healthcare experts say there continues to be a disparity based on gender identity in healthcare. That was the focus of a symposium today at UW School of Medicine and Public Health. As Dave Delosier tells us, it's an issue that's lived every day across the country. I'm a sophomore at UW-Madison in uh, political science and social statistics. Outside of the classroom, Jordan Madden knows how far politics can reach. It's one of those things that kind of extends into every, into every faucet of life. Including health care issues affecting the LGBTQ community. There are a whole variety of health disparities. It is those disparities in health care that brought experts in the field together for this bioethics symposium at UW School of Medicine and Public Health. They discussed an issue that is an obstacle in getting health care, fear. Sort of the fear of homophobia. Um, leads people, LGBT identified people, to not go to the doctor at all. Another issue is the amount of research being done into health issues affecting the LGBTQ community. Still in terms of health research, we have, we have a long way to go before we've sufficiently figured out, so what are the health needs of LGBT individuals? Judy Houck is a professor of bioethics at UW-Madison and a presenter at the symposium. She says the lack of research is tied to a lack of funding, which comes back to politics. There are serious health consequences to homophobia and transphobia. Um, and people die because we have yet to get this right. Which brings us back to Jordan and why studying political science matters to him. Changing the political conversation could change the disparity in health care, and he knows what that could mean. The world. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. Now this all took place at the ninth annual bioethics conference symposium on the UW campus. In years past, they've discussed other ethical issues like the use of performance enhancing drugs in sports.